Hey guys, Edward here from Edward79, the mixed content creator. Dark milk and white chocolate, all are delicious snacks, but there are both physical and chemical differences between the three. So in this video, I'll be diving into the differences between these three different types of chocolate. First up is dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is the least sweet and most bitter of the three, being usually dairy-free and having less sugar and fat than milk and white chocolate. Its bitterness can be explained by cacao percentage, which can range anywhere from 50% 50 50 to 100%. And as a rule of thumb, the higher the cacao percentage, the more bitter the bar. This is due to the presence of the bitter alkaloids theobromine and caffeine in, in in, in cocoa, and since dark chocolate has the highest percentage of cocoa of the three types, and has the least sugar, it's obviously going to be the most bitter. But there is a bright side, in that cacao is one of the richest sources of antioxidants such as polyphenols and flavonoids, meaning dark chocolate also has the highest antioxidant count among the three chocolates. Overall, if you want chocolate but are concerned for your health, dark chocolate is your best bet. Next up is milk chocolate. As the most popular of the three chocolates, milk chocolate is easily more addictive if than white or dark chocolate, making it harder to quit than either of the other two. I've already mentioned why chocolate is so addictive in a previous video, which is linked in the description below, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. But the long and short of it is, is that fat, sugar, and the release of opioid-like encephalins combines to make chocolate, especially milk chocolate, so hard to quit. Milk chocolate is sweeter and creamier than dark chocolate, which can be attributed to two things, the addition of milk and having more sugar than dark chocolate. It also has a lower cacao percentage, with milk chocolate's caca cacao percentage being anywhere from, from 10% to 50%. Oh, and if you've wondered why milk chocolate taste has a sort of sour aftertaste, there's a reason. And that reason is but butyric acid, a chemical found in, believe, then get this, puke. It's there because of a process called lipolysis, in which the fatty acids in the milk turn rancid, leaving behind butyric acid. But usually, chocolate companies add enough sugar to mask the rancid reaction of, of lipolysis. So no, you don't have to worry about vomit chocolate. Overall, solid snack option, but be careful, as it is damn addictive. And finally, we have the rarest of the three, white chocolate. I already mentioned in my chocolate chemistry video, also linked in the description below, why white chocolate comes out so pale compared to its brown brethren. But in short, white chocolate's pale coloring is due to its, ca its cacao percentage of 0%. That's right. 0%. But don't be fooled. White chocolate still has cacao, which in white chocolate it takes the form of cacao butter, which is combined with sugar, milk solids, lecithin, and vanilla to form to create white chocolate. And speaking of vanilla, that's actually the reason why white chocolate has hints of vanilla. The vanilla extract in the chocolate gives it vanillin which is the main flavor compound found in vanilla beans. White chocolate is also really fatty due to the presence of fatty acids, most notably stearic acid and palmitic acid. White chocolate is hated by many for being quote unquote too sweet. And this is due to having more sugar than white than milk or dark chocolate with no bitter cocoa solids to keep the sweetness under control, leaving behind a super sweet treat that some hate and others, like me, love. And believe it or not, it's actually not considered chocolate by some, as it contains no cocoa solids. Overall, the answer to whether the sweet white treat is chocolate or not is still being heavily fought over, especially on the internet. So there you have it. The physical and chemical differences between dark milk and white chocolate explained. We hope you enjoyed this video. As always, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.